So ever since the Google Assistant was first launched, every people were searching on how to get the Google Assistant on their Android device. So one word was really missing, that is the Windows or the Linux operating system. So, so it is now currently you could get the same thing on your Android, uh, on your Windows PC. Yeah, back guys. So yeah, guys, I'm back with a new video, guys. It's your host, Mr. Niamster, and today I'm going to basically show you how to get the Google Assistant on your windows or the linux pc before starting this now let me just tell you guys that you will not get the same uh, ui which you basically get on your android device but i will just make another video if there is a new update but you <laughs> what you will get is only a command prompt to whom you are talking so you basically i know if you <laughs> it, it really sounds funny but you will really enjoy this whole thing guys so now let's get started with this video guys so first of all what you need to do is just to go ahead to the python site and just go ahead and just download uh, the python for windows or the mac depending on your pc uh, os just go ahead and download and make sure that the version is above 3.0 so just download the latest version so once you have done with this guys what you need to do is just go ahead and install the python manually so after that you have installed what you need to do is just go ahead and open uh, cmd and just type python and basically you will see that cmd can't recognize the python word so what you need to do is just go ahead to the python exe once again guys and just open it up and you will see this repair modify something like that what you need to do is just click on the modify and just make sure click on next and make sure that you have checked this whole setting and now let's install this again so once you've done this guys what you need to do just go ahead to the cmd and now type python once again so that's it as you can see now your cmd can easily recognize the python so once you're done with this guys what we need to do is just go ahead to the another link i've just put the link in the description guys that is the console cloud google something like that will be written on that so what you need to do is basically you basically see something like this on the starting page and what you need to do is just check this up and what you need to do is you will see to a, a create project option or you can see something like that and then you click on the plus sign to create a new project and just name it anything you want so in my case i'm just entering it as a ga something like that so once you have done with this guys what you need to do is now you will see that circle thing on the notification bar so basically it means that it is creating a new project for you so that's it once you have done with this now just click on this notification bar and now just click on the project name once you're there you will see the this is how the, the basically it will really look like so so once we have done with this guys now what you need to do now we have to go to the another link i will just put the link in the description guys then what you need to do is just enable the google assistant api so once we have enabled this guys what you need to do is just go ahead uh, to credentials and that will be there just go ahead and click on that make sure that you have selected google assistant api and the next thing is you have to select is other ui example the windows cl i2 user data has been selected and that's it what you need to do is now just click on this and basically it will ask you to create the auth 2.0 silent id so don't worry guys just enter google assistant here uh type it could be anything but i will suggest you to just type the same thing what i'm typing so same for the next one guys just type the product name as same as we have written the above and once you have done now just go ahead and click on continue once you have done with this guys now i will just i will just click on i will do this later and once you're there you will what basically need to do is just click on the credentials guys so basically it will redirect you to this page or you will just tap on the credentials and basically you will see the project name which we have just written and you, uh, and you will see an option to download the json file basically we call it as so just go ahead and download the json file so once you're there guys i will just recommend you to just keep this file in a safe place so just for a demonstration purpose i'm just keeping this on the desktop itself so that's it once you're done with this guys now let's go ahead to the next link that is the uh, activity control so basically most of the people have active but in my case i have disabled this so make sure that you have just enabled this whole settings active once you're done with that now let's go ahead to the command prompt so once you're there now let's enter this line and basically it will now what basically it will do is it will just download the whole google assistant uh samples so that's it so basically it will just take for you one to two minutes to set it up and to download whole samples so the next command is very important guys so i will just uh, request to our guys to please uh 
uh, listen briefly guys so what you need to do is first of all just guys just copy this whole code and give a space and what you need to do is just go ahead to the json file which we have just downloaded and what you need to do is just right click on properties and then in the security tab you will just see the whole path so what you need to do is just copy this whole path guys and once or till the dot json something like that just copy this and what you need to do is just paste it here so once the so this is our command which we are really going to use so what you need to do is just go ahead and copy this and just paste it in the command so guys after that you will basically notice that it will, it will provide you a link and beneath that it will ask you to enter the code so what you need to do is guys just copy this whole code so the main question arises how to basically copy this code so you need to be really tricky about this and if you really know how to do this then you can skip this part but just for the new people i'm just telling you how to do this up so what you need to do is just right click and click on mark and just select this whole code guys and once you have done with this just uh, click on right click once again and the highlight will go off so don't worry guys you have just copied this whole link so what you need to do is just go ahead and paste this whole code in your new tab and remove this whole other line and that's it so if you are facing any problem while visiting this link guys uh, do comment below i'll just try to help you out and make sure guys that you, you have a login with your existing account itself or the account which we we are we were use, uh, using to basically it will now give you a token basically you could say and just go ahead and copy this token and paste the token in your command prompt so after that once you have pressed on enter you will basically see the credential saved something that has been written so that's it now we are ready to go now we are ready to get started with this video guys so the next thing is the how to test and using the google assistant so what basically you need to do is guys you have to just go ahead and copy this command and basically press enter and basically just paste this code there next part is using so here we come with our google assistant on our pc guys so now how to use this up so what you need to do is just go ahead and copy this command line guys i will don't worry i will just put this whole command line in the description guys so what you need to do is just paste the command line here and basically boom we will just see some lines here and whenever it says press enter something that means you could just go ahead and talk to them um, so make sure that you have mic connected with your pc Google Assistant's the name. Helping you is my game. What day is today? It is Sunday, the 30th of April 2017. Okay. What day is tomorrow? The first oh, I know of May 2017 is, uh, falls on a Monday. Uh, the UI is very boring, but believe me, it will be really funny if you really talk the Probably same thing on a pc and the mobile is a host mostly i'm still see you in the next video signing out